Um, that's how improv works. You just make things up on the spot. There's no script. Uh, there's no wrong answer. You just have a go. And uh, it's over to you guys now because you're going to set me a challenge. Mm. Oh, yes. Um, I'd like you to pretend that you have a girlfriend and then break up with her. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, all right. Um, could you please take a seat? Um, yeah. Um, <coughs> Kelly, there's something I need to speak to you about. Um, look, I think so highly of you. And I mean, how long have we been together now? Eight years, George. Eight, eight years. <laughs> and I feel that... I'm just going to cut straight to it. I've met someone else. Well, George, uh, I've I've got a kid. <laughs> right. Um, why have you not told me this? Well, you know, I just wanted to raise it my way, and we do we do disagree on uh, the rearing standards. So I, I I want my kid to be vegan. Okay. Um, well, this is making everything a lot easier for me because I'm not ready for fatherhood and I'm not really a vegan. Well, tell us about who you've met. Maybe we can uh, get their opinion on the situation. He has a lovely moustache um, and he, his this name is, is it Carl. Um, oh, have a seat. Have a seat on my lap, darling. Um, it's, it started at summer camp. Oh, Carl. I've, I've seen you around. I actually was going to enrol uh, Susie in that summer camp that you run. <laughs> I was going to say before this gets weird, but I think it's already got weird. Yeah. Round of applause, end scene, end scene. Well done, thank you so much. Uh, I mean, obviously that was a fictional situation because I had a girlfriend, but uh, that's the kind of thing you do at improv. You just have a go, you make it up on the spot. You normally have a lot longer to do it, but that was fun. Well done, guys. Well done, team. <laughs>